Gentlemen and uh, GAD. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. We're doing another Vintage Cube Draft. Time Spiral. <clears throat> Warm Coil Engine. Demonic Toots. Coercive Portal. But, you know, Super Fritz, the, the point is that you're like a manager at Subway and like it pays your bills and it's free food and cool. Like all fast food chains have their issues and like it's whatever. Demonic Tutor, right? It's Demonic Tutor, right? That's got to be stronger than... Take Sun Titan because Mike B says it's bad. Let's just take all the cards that... Uh... Dude, Super Fritz, if you love your job, that's worth so much more like than anything else. Like, I'm, I'm actually really glad to hear that. Plus, like, you obviously have enough like disposable income to support me as well. So I appreciate that as well, man. So, as long as you're happy, I'm happy, my dude. Yeah, we're just taking toots. Oh, Toots into Twister? Guys, are we forcing Storm? Oh, boy. We can also just get a Narset. I mean, this is just... I mean, like... There's three fetch lands, but outside of those, this is easily the best card in the pack, and I don't even like it. Let my opponent draw seven. Did you get my email about the deck? Justice, didn't I? Um... Justice, would you say your initials are R-A? Is that... Would that be correct? Because if so, I got it. I got it. I also read start it in my, in my Gmail, which means this is a content related thing. So respond to this. Haji Galashi, you're such a, you're such a random weirdo. And I love you to death, dude. You are fucking awesome, dude. Thank you. Haji Galashi, thank you so much for the gifted subs, man. It's so random. And I, you're like my, oh man, you're so great, dude. Oh, hi. <laughs> thank you. Dude, you're awesome, dude. Oh, we definitely talk about Luis. Luis is wonderful. Um, what are we taking here? If Thank we were storming, Everflowing Chalice? There's also Through the Breach. We could dip. Did I have a chance to peek at the list? Not yet. Because I try to do that all at the same time. I'll take a look at it right now on stream. Um, I mean, this just looks cool. I don't know. It just looks like, yeah, it just looks like an, I was going to say Esper Stoneblade, but obviously you're calling it Fae Blade. Also, Fae of Wishes just put a, just put a sword on. It's pretty cool because it's like a 1-4 flyer for two. I kind of like it. Yeah, I think Through the Breach is stronger in whatever archetype Through the Breach goes into than Everflowing Chalice is. So, oh, Thief of Sanity. Huh. Oh, you think it's Chalice? Oh, wow. That's unbelievable. See, I'm probably, I probably just don't even want to play this deck anymore because you said Chalice. So, I'm just off it. I don't like Fastball. I guess fast bond's okay, but like the problem is like in the in the storm decks, you're not green, you know. I like leaning into storm. I definitely don't, but I definitely feel the compulsion to do some do sometimes. You know what I mean? The problem is the green mana. Like I'm just gonna stick to that. I think it's. I like Thief of Sanity just in like in this form. Oh, and then there's an Ashiok. This is not we're not even storming anymore. We're just taking like Like we're just taking the the, the blue black good stuffs. And splashing through the breach. Yeah, we're just taking this guy. Oh, him to Torok? For sure. For sure, dude. For sure. It's all happening. God, I'm such a fan of like the the blue black kind of a little more powerful dirtily deck that just plays power just plays value cards. Soul tie good stuff. We're trying to go Grixis. I still want this through the breach to to be valuable. I still want to hit like a an Ulamog or a, an Emrakul. Thought seize. Look, we could take the Bayou and and fulfill our our soul tie dreams, but I'm just taking this thought seize. Turn one thought seize into turn two him to Torok. Into turn three, either of these guys is really oh a Gonti? So is the stipulation just play all of your opponent's cards right now? Cause that's cool. Alright, so this seems uh, this is definitely more my speed than Storm is for sure. Heroes down for a cloaking fan. Mole Drifter came back? Fudge, man. Oh, because Super Fritz. Because Super Fritz is also just like, I'm going to give you five subs as well. Because that's cool. 
Man, I love this. I love, you got yeah, Hajilashi and Superfitch clearly uh, are in competition with one another. I love you guys. Super Friends, you are awesome. Hodge Galashi, you are awesome. Thank you. James and Brandon, I love you guys. I want to take Muldrifter. It's on color. I think it's stronger than Hero's Downfall. Chupacabra Thank is you. also fantastic. Our deck seems very sweet. This is a very sweet nine picks with a with it through the Oh wow, Hodge Galashi is five more. Sure. Cause why not? Sure. Cause why not? <laughs> oh man, you guys Thank are friggin' great, dude. Haji Gulashi. Super Fritz. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Also, there's a kitty cat here right now. Now it's a kitty cat stream. Thank you. Yeah, like we're gonna get like last pick like Shriek Maw Plague Crafter. It's like, oh okay. I mean they're not they're not first picks, Thank but like you. they're still very, very good fillers. Can you sit down so the people can see you? You're being so difficult right now. Thank you. Little man stream. Now we're sharing the same dream. I'll take Wishclaw Talisman. I mean, we're surprisingly not a uh, Thousand Year Storm deck right now. <laughs> Hodge Gulashi, you are awesome. Super Fritz, you are awesome. Thank you so much, guys. I seriously appreciate you guys. <laughs> okay 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 now you're just showing off oh wow thank you wow guys is it salt eye time i mean, we're just taking the mocks it's a colorless it's thank a colorless you. it's a soul ring that costs one less but makes one less colorless mana too super fritz man come on dude thank you come on thank you just stop it you're acting like a child right now Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, the thank yous are real. I kind of just want Dark thank Slick you. Shores here. But I also like Force and Duress. So, I think I think for the sake of our deck, we want the Dark Slick Shores. Thank you. I can't. I'm trying to just ignore the thank yous. But, like, this is the best chat on Twitter. I, dude, I love my chat so much. Thank you. Like, they're legit one of my favorite parts of streaming. Like, if, if my chat was, like... Like, Thank my chat you. is definitely one of the most encouraging parts of, like, to, to get me to, to stream it, like, regularly. All I ask is that we do another music Thank request you. stream soon. Done. Done, dude. I will... Yeah, I was thinking Damnation, too. I was actually thinking Golgari Sing, to be honest with you. But it's really, like, it's... I think it's 50-50. Eh, it's half a one. This is the best magic stream period? Man, hey, listen... I don't know about all that, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, fuck. What are the odds Overgrown or Botanical Sanctum comes back and we just take this? We already have Time Twister. We're 100% taking Leovold, dude. I'm sorry. This is Le We're doing a Leovold Time Twister stream now, my dudes. And we got Demonic Tutor to get one or the other. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uncle Leo! Jerry! <laughs> oh, Breeding Pool? Oh. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to take Breeding Pool over Factor Fiction. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Scarab God? Just, this deck is building itself, man. I would take I would I, I'm get I am getting the vapors. Who good lord I do declare. Michael, you don't have to say I do declare every time you say something. By saying it, you're declaring it. Um I like I don't like I actually don't like Liliana that much. I do like Phantasmal Image a lot. Especially with a scarab god. This is your payoff deck for all the frustrations. Yeah, but it's okay. yeah, but we might still we might still get wrecked. I wanna take Lumbering Falls. Also, Time Swirl is in the first pack, but D Demo is pretty unpassable. Long live Rob, Swole Rob. Mine's Desire and Tendrils in the same pack, guys. Which do we hate? I'm going to hate the Mine's Desire. Thank 
Thank you. Captain McMilligan, what's up, my dude? Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub, man. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. And after I still won our match. That is good sportsmanship, and I appreciate you, dude. Thank you. I miss Swole Rob, too. Are you guys still going to do set reviewies? Review, I, I read it as reviewies because that's just how it looked. Uh, whenever I, I, I think we can definitely probably arrange like a Discord set review for sure. At the very least. Oh, wow. Duress came back? Here's a crater hoof. I think we just take Duress here. Thirst is good, too, but... I really like the discard spells. These have grown on me. I'm eating now. I'll type better, I promise. Thank goodness we got this hunger out of the way. Yeah, Captain McMilligan, good games again, my dude. Although, I think everyone in the stream was very surprised on game three when you played Black Cliff Cliffs. We were all like... What? Like a pink slip in a street race. That's basically the same thing, yeah. <laughs> sideboarded that in dear god um i actually don't hate thrag tusk that's a nice sideboard card i don't think the overgrown tomb or the botanical sanctum came back but i'd rather have the overgrown tomb four coalition relics what i told you last time still stands in these times when quarantine my exam really hits and some of the best moments of my day is to watch you sharing your content so much fun that it calms you down your dude mark i appreciate you and i'm glad you've been so con such a consistent uh such a consistent dude around the stream for as long as you have been man oh <gasps> the overgrown did come back wow i'm gonna take this blood crypt We're not a corpse dance deck. I'll take a fire blast. You know what? I'll deny some some poor red drafter. Oh yeah, look at this. We got Dark Slick breeding overgrown lumbering fall so far. For just a Leovold and maybe a Thrag Tusk. I always put Shriekma on too. Shriekma is way more consistently a two drop. So maybe we just play the Thrag Tusk. Especially with Scarab God. Yeah, and also like if we do get a fetch land, it's it's very possible to just throw the breach in there too. Look at that late cabal ritual. Storm. We're gonna storm I guess we're storming, guys. I guess we're storming. Having the stream to socialize with has made me this mandatory isolate. Dude, I was thinking about it the other day because I don't actually, obviously, this is what I do for a living, right? And I don't have a job that I go to. So, like, for the past, I mean, honestly, the past 10 years, since I was working at TCG Player, um, I worked from home at that, at that time. For the past, like, 10 years, I've worked from home. You know? And it gets very isolating sometimes. Like, I just don't, I literally don't interact with people, you know? Like, if I don't leave my house to go to the grocery store, to go pick up food or whatever, like, I, I have very little human interaction sometimes. So, like, a lot of times, like, this stream and you guys in the chat are, like, fucking lifesavers, dude. <laughs> I mean, we're definitely taking treachery, right? I mean, Ponder's good. Cloud Skate's good. Creeping Tarpet's good. But it's a treachery. You guys ever cast a treachery it lets you untap five lands guys it's unbelievable here's a karn liberated i wish we had more like ramp cards i wish if we had more ramp both karn and upheaval would be very very good here i think we're still taking karn i'm an introvert gamer besides going to fn i was just in my yeah same like I'm considered essential right now, but I get to work from home, and I was so happy to finally catch your stream live. That lasted all a, all all a week. Now I have to go into working. Oh God, because they need an IT guy in sight at all times, which is far from the truth. A little bump, dude. Please be careful, Zimini Pop. Please be careful, dude. Oh, Grave Daddy, Oracle of Moldaya as well. I think it's Grave Daddy. That's a pretty sweet top end card. I think if the Sower or the Deluge comes back, I'll be grateful. I just finished my modern deck, got laid off, and can't even play with my new deck. Oh, man, dude. And adjacent Ewan, I'm so sorry, man. Shardless isn't bad either because Sower is gravy, Dad. <laughs> Sower's gravy, Dad. I don't think so, man.
I second Mark. This quarantine has me struggling really bad with my depression, but you're streaming in the community. Member. Dude, that's such a great compliment. I really appreciate you guys. I'm definitely taking mind twist here, guys. To go with our thought sees duress and him to Torak. Mana Vault is very, very good. Do we need it? Like, we have him, Thoughtseize, and Duress? What do you get from the Twitch Prime? Um, For me, I get 350, and Twitch gets 150. When you reach a certain point as a streamer, uh, and also because I'm on a team, like, it's a 70-30 split between me and Twitch. Do you guys think it's Twist over Mana Vault? I feel like turn one Mana Vault is like, we can do the turn two Scarab God or turn two Thrag. I think it's Vault. I think we actually have enough cool discard that we don't really need it. I wish this... Oh, man. I'm really wishing we took that Golgari Signet, actually. What did we take over it? I think we took Damnation over, which I'm not even, like, convinced should be in the main deck right now. Right. Like, if we go, like, Thoughtseize, Duress, or Hymnatorok, and then, like, Mind Twist just gets worse. I do like Shieldred. I also think shoulder is not like too far out of their own possibility. We could also just take Mesmeric Fiend or is it Signet? I think shoulder is just fine. Oh, Primeval Titan? Are we double greening? Jeez. I mean, it could be Blooming Marsh, but I really don't like having too many of these. We have Dark Slick Shores already. We also have Lumbering Falls that's coming to play tapped. I'm going to just take Primeval Titan because I think the upside is real high. I think Hissing Quagmire is probably the pick here. Like, we just want to make sure we can hit our green sources. Windswept Heath. We can get a Breeding Pool with a, and an Overgrown Tomb. Oh, yeah. Windswept Heath is great here. I do like an Ancestral Vision. I'd rather just have the Fixing here. Creeping Tar Pit came back, my dudes. Prime time is better with Manland. It's like, well, we do have three now. We have all three. We have Quagmire, Creeping Tarpet, and Lumbering Falls. So, hopefully that's correct. Um, I don't hate Tassiger. Shardless Agent is decent. It's decent. It's it's even better because we actually have no counter spells to hit, which is nice. Although, if we do hit a Mana, mana Drain, I'm definitely switch, switching out this, this Shardless Agent for the Mana Drain. Corsair, Dark Petition, Spellseeker. So I think Spellseeker's upside is very, very high. Uh, we can get a Demonic Tutor, a Thoughtseize, Duress. And if we get... Um, if we open, like, time... There's only second pack, too, guys. <coughs> yeah, just take Wall here. Scavenging Users is not bad for the sideboard. If we get... If we manage to get Ancestral or Time Walk, I think we're in cool shape. Yeah, we did see an Elf and a Rafellus on the wheel. I was like, well... Oh, this is pack three. I, oh, wow, I didn't think it was second pack. I thought we had another pack coming. I got real excited. I was like, wait. This is a lot of cards, never mind. I think this is just the deck. Oh, I forgot we had this Mox, too. That's pretty cool. Alright, so Spellseeker's probably going to sit, sit on the sidelines here. Yeah, everything else seems fine. I almost kind of like Tasker over Plague Crafter. Yeah, I do like that. I was gr I was greedy for packs. You're right. I was like, get okay, one more pack. Look at all this black. All right, so. Green, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll see how... Oh yeah, we can, we're going to cut one for now. We've got seven sources of green. Black, we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That seems good. Blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven, ten, seven right now. I feel like we want one more blue. Yeah, our mana base seems very good. Plus we have Mana Vault. If Plague Crafter lets you choose Planeswalker or Creature, it'd be much better. 
But the fact is, like, a lot of times in the cube, like, they're losing a 1-1 or a 2-2, and you're losing a 3-2, and it's just not a great value. Oh, what can it mean? To, uh, little man's still sitting over here. You guys, can you see him? No. So I'll just put, toss this back up. Oh, yeah, we're definitely keeping this. Turn to Shardless Agent into presumably some form of discard. I'm kind of tempted to play Mox Emerald here just because... So, as a black red land, it could be a discard spell like Inquisition or it could be a like an abraid. Right, like, so, I'm going to actually, we're going to, we're just going to hold it and assume that that's not going to be a discard spell. Okay, there was not. It was not. Oh, and then we can play Gonti next turn? Jeez. Oh, wow, Mind Twist and Dak Faden. Uh. Oh, boy. I mean, they can Mind Twist us for two next turn, which is not super impressive. I'm going to take the deck because I just think it's worse. They can also steal our Mox or our Shardless Agent, so. I mean, their hand is pretty poop outside of Mind Twist, but. I mean, if they want to Mind Twist us for two here, that's fine. Watch them draw, like, Mana Crypt. Okay, they did not. They did not. Oh, wow. Consecrated Sphinx and Mana Drain? Holy Jesus. Ugh. So the next time they can hit us for three, which I assume they're going to do, but I think Consecrated Sphinx is probably just better here. I kind of like Drain, but I think they're going to just do it for three next turn because it gets most of the cards out of our hand. Yeah, so black, and then they mind twist for three here. I'm just hoping we keep Scarab God, but we're not going to. I know that. I know it for a fact. Oh, we kept Scarab God. Oh, yes. Damn, boy. Oh, wow. Man, 25% chance. Wow, something went your way. That never happens. <laughs> I love it when you guys realize that that's the funniest thing to me. When you guys are like, I know how this goes. What do you use for your soundboard? I have the uh, the Stream Deck XL. Um, I don't think I want to untap this. I can take one here. One, two, three, four. Play you. That's a lot of damage here. This is nine damage. And then we get to keep up Shriekmaw in case they want to do some shenanigans. And neither of us are even close to Shell Dock activating. I mean, they can't Cryptic here. Oh, we should have held this because if they want to, like, they can't miss the Confluence. Never mind. We still should have held it. I just spam your YouTube videos and it's great how many decks just are so good but never get there because your luck is just terrible. Boy, you ain't kidding. And Jason Eman, what's your YouTube name? Maybe all your awful luck games are to set you up for those like perfect, beautiful games. Yeah, I, I, I would like to think so. I know someone that draws worse than you rank or he complains more either way. Oh, that's... This this game was this game was magical. Man. I'm just gonna submit like this. I think we're looking looking sweet. It's just my regular name, but I've been uh, I've been you watching on the tube for over. Year. That's that doesn't sound that doesn't sound wholesome at all. I 
I'm back. My internet was Latinha a bit. God, Mark with the Brazil all the time, man. It's wild. What a crazy language. Lagging it, had to go back a few minutes and listen to what you said to me. I appreciate a lot uh, you saying that. Appreciate me being around because sometimes I fear that I could be a little annoying. Mainly because I keep commenting on your face. Dude, Mark, you're my Facebook friend, so you can comment on my stuff for sure, dude. I also really appreciate your perspective as a Brazilian who is in like a similar situation. Wow, that's that's a, that's a wild that's a wild draw. I really appreciate your yourself as a Brazilian uh, who has a Brazilian perspective. Play pool first? What? Interesting. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, why would I do that? Oh, wow. That's... This is all very interesting. Did you say Thief of Sanity? Oh, they could have Mana Drain, though. Let's do though. Let's do this jobby here. What you got? You going to Mana Drain for one? Or are you going to let me... Oh, they're going to Mana Drain for one? <laughs> That's totally fine, dude. That's totally fine. The internet is all a series of tubes. Thanks, Al Gore. Oh man, they use their one of their mana drain mana to chart a course. That's wild. Okay. Do we think they have another one? We have six mana right now. But we only have three colored mana, which is unfortunate, because both of these guys are. I guess we could actually just play Shardless Agent and see what we hit. The problem is if we hit Phantasmal Image, it's pretty bad. So I'm actually just going to play Thief of Sananity. Jason the Mind Sculptor, better than all. Because next turn, if they bounce this or get rid of it, we can just play Shardless Agent and Thief of Sanity. Sower of Temptazione. I mean, we get to choops that. A merry little Christmas. May your heart be. From... <laughs> I like the time warp with like nothing on board. It's literally just five mana explore, right? Nice Italian. I've been working on it. Okay, portal's good. Oh, we just got a hit? Do we get to crack? Oh, man, I'm excited. How much to get you to play the entire The Gathering album on The Gathering album on Song Request Stream? Yikes. Let's hit. Oh, Collector Brutality. You must be crazy. Snapcaster in a swamp, huh? Interesting. One, two, one, two, three, four. I guess they can take an extra turn next turn. I think Charlotte's Agent is time is now. Well, that was unexciting. I guess we can play Thrag Tusk here, right? This has not been played, right? All right, well, I guess you're gonna time walk. You're gonna draw an extra card, and then time walk. So you have two cards in hand. What are they? Where? Oh, they're over here. That's your graveyard. What's your favorite stip you have done so far? Um, you're naming Carnage. Yeah, I'm gonna name homage. You can have a a card. Um, that's a good question. I think Super Friends is definitely up there for me. I just like drafting Planeswalkers. It's super cool. Um, you should do anything but what Michael B says. What if we did that step, but we didn't tell him we were doing that step? So, like, everything Mike would suggest, I'd do the exact opposite. Carnage does save us from taking damage. That's actually a good point. I mean, they have to go snap time warp here, right? 
Did they play land? They did play their swamp. So now they have snap and the two cards they drew this turn. That's just your normal drafting style. It's true. Wouldn't that mean we just got a good deck? God damn. He's not even here to defend himself, guys. Jeez. Okay. Let me guess. Time warp? Yes. Okay. I mean, they get to draw two more cards. But we do got a collective brutality here. I played someone with Frank's Luck, took 15 damage off Vault in five turns. Jesus. Oh, uh, yeah, I knew, I, I knew you meant Crypt. As soon as you say 15 damage in five turns, I'm like, that's a Crypt. Oh, they're going to name homage too. Okay. I guess we'll just have six here. Oh, wow. Look at this Vampiric Tutor. Is it a damnation, guys? Are they going to wipe our board? We get to keep a Thrag Tusk. Man, that dang, that dude got totally pranked. Oh, God, don't do that. He said he really shrewded it. You know what that means? What is that, shrewd? That's that's the kind of thing people say around here when you mess something up, like, really badly. Shrewded it. Where do you think that comes from? You don't think it means, like, like Dwight Shrewd, do you? All Moochel knows is how to get his trash can into the tree and where to call the rat train. Oh, all right, that's cool, man. That's really cool. That's a cool dude. Can I draw a phantasmal image? I feel like that's really just, I feel like that's just the least cool thing you could have done. I'm so not cool with this right now. Oh, wow. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Yep. Nah, brah. Okay, well. Oh, we should have attacked with the Ragtusk. Yeah, that would have been good. Because then we can kill this dude. I'm going to say Carnage now. <laughs> it doesn't matter because they named first. Alpha Michael didn't give Andy anything on that whole thing. He just wasn't paying attention to him at all. <laughs> yeah, Michael's just driving. He's like, I don't know. May your hearts be wild. He does deck kind of quickly, I guess. Uh, no, I'll just take another one pointer. Oh my god, dude. How did we go from like absolutely crushing in this game to like them just... I guess Vampiric Tutor gets you Consecrated Sphinx. It's pretty good, I guess. That is a thing, all right. I have not been checking out the Office Ladies podcast, but I really want to. Actually, now that you mention it, I'm going to download it. 
or at least open a tab so I remember to download it. The Office is so good, and it's like such a like. It, in my opinion, The Office is one of the most perfect shows. Like, I love it. It's actually super rewatchable. It's very, very enjoyable. There's all like, like the thing, the, the replay value is very, very high. And so like, if The Office podcast is literally just Angela and, and Jenna Fisher, um, Angela Kinsey and Jenna Fisher, just like talking about office experiences on the whole podcast, like that's fine. Like, I think that's actually super fine. Uh, I watched like the first few episodes of Letterkenny and I really, really liked it. I just haven't gotten back to it yet. And it's not for any real reason. I just, it just hasn't happened yet. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so third deck is doing all the stuff that I want to be doing. They only have nine cards left in their deck. They do get their sower back. I think we're just bringing in Damnation, which is weird, but... What do we get? We get, like... Letterkenny has six seasons? I thought it was on, like, season three. Uh, the, the Office being this generation Seinfeld, I can actually... That sounds really accurate. It has eight seasons? How is it that old? Oh, wow. I had no idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okie dokie. I guess we're popping Shieldred. Or at least attempting to pop shield. I guess we can we can crack the consecrated sphinx too. And try to hit something with our thief of sanity. It's either this or this, 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 this. I really don't know which is better, to be quite honest. Well, the problem is, like, if we keep Shielder on the board, they just get back Corsair of... They get Sower of Temptation and steal our Thief of Sanity. And we also can't block Shieldred, so I guess it's Shieldred. Bliss, Bliss gets... Is this a May ability? No. That's interesting. He's got Swampers. <laughs> he does. Oh, now we're carnaging. Oh, now you want to carnage. I see. I see. I don't think so, man. Hmm. No, we're going to homage again. You're going to keep drawing. You're going to go to five cards. You got three turns, my, my dude. I started watching The Office a couple weeks ago, and honestly, I didn't think it was that great. Oh, wow. The first season is the roughest, which is six episodes, but everything after that is just, like, fantastic. Oh, God, what are they tapping? 19 mana. Oh, wow. They hardcast the Ulamog hitting their own course of portal. Nice. Yeah, that's rough. Community is definitely not better than The Office. Neither is Scrubs. 100% wrong. Dis... Absolutely disagree. No, Community is way too slapstick for me. I think Parks and Rec is also great. Oh boy. Oh boy. What does that do for us? Not much, unfortunately. Are 
Are we just gonna mill them to death? This seems fantastic. Oh, not not you. You get in there. Oh, uh, makeshift mannequin. And a mind twist for two. We could just mind twist the last two cards. Then they just literally top deck one. I think mind twist is a little safer here. Like, we're not really threatened by this guy. Annihilator 4 we can deal with. The opponent has decided to board the rat train. Send them on down they don't the have Emrakul. There's no way they have Emrakul. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the rat train? <laughs> Dak and... Oh, we just kept we just let them keep a card because I tapped two instead of three. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Man, that's yeah, that was actually a, a that was pretty sizable misplay given living and keep one card in hand. I might buy the anything but Michael Stitt. I mean, I feel like that would be hard to do. Not not hard to do in the sense, just hard to do in the sense of like. Because he's only going to pick like one card. So me picking any of the other 14 cards. Sick rips, good game. I'll say good games. I don't know if that's intentionally. <coughs> I mean, you hard cast Ulamog, right? Like. And adjacent human, I um the default amount I charge for stips is, is 35. 10 for the 10 for the event itself. Uh I'm usually not winning anything. You know, like a lot of times it's just like it's really hard to uh um to to trophy or like to, to do to have a win. But also like I don't want to price anyone out. So if they, if that doesn't work for someone and they want to discuss something, that's totally cool with me too. So maybe do like can't choose the first two cards, he says. Okay, what if we did it? What if we did it comedically? And I'm like, hey, the stipulation is Mike picks the card. But then, like, whenever he picks a card, I choose something different. So, what if we, like, encourage him to pick cards? And then he's like, why do you keep going against the stip, man? It's a stip. And I'm like, yeah, don't worry about it, dude. Don't worry about it. And then at the end, we'll be like, hey, <laughs> this is what we're really doing. Because I'll have to tell him. And I'll have to tell the audience as well. Because people on YouTube will be like, what? why are you just. This is. Oh, you just realized the lull is me? Yeah, that's correct. Um, I'm going to keep this. I think this is fine if we hit a blue. Come on, duress into blue mana for Shardy. Wow, we're good at this game. I just want to see your hand today. Show me. Don't say shardy. It did sound. I agree with you. I felt, oh, solemn and inferno titan. This is why you play your moxes, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to play mine, though, because I know you can't do anything. And now you know and you're playing a red, so you could abrade it. I ain't even about that. Also, Phantasmal Image being in hand is nice because we're probably going to hit uh, Thoughtseize or him to Torok, I would imagine. Volcanic Island. I mean, I, I say I would imagine, but that's like the only thing we can hit, so. Realistically. I drew a battle league. Oh, Solomon Marsh Flats. Okay, so we know the exact three cards in your hand. Wow, we just... That'll do, pig. That'll do. That will do it, my pigolino. Yep, that was pretty good. I'm having a good time. <laughs> Man, this... Oof. Can I get a big oofs in the chat?
I mean, do we just we just keep all the our mana is great. Our mana is great. Our mana is great. I thought it was just some random guy. Nah. I'll be like, all right, guys, we're doing a stipulation for Michael. It's Michael's. Oh, we can do it tomorrow. It could be Michael's birthday stipulation. Michael, whatever you pick, you're going to do the draft. And then like, he'll pick cards and I'll just pick something totally different. I'll be like, no, nah, let's take this instead. I just don't think it's that good. And then he'll be like, all right. Uh, let's take this one. I'll be like, ah, that's, that's all right. I got, I think this one's better though. Let's take this one. And then we'll just keep taking different cards from what he says. And I'll be like, well, dude, you're never going to let me pick anything. <laughs> it's like, all right. Well. This hand will look a lot better with five less lands. That's no lands in adjacent human. Come on. Get it together. Wow, look at these. Look at this. Look at this mana base. Oh, boy. Oh, and you got a Scalding Tarn, too. You so fancy. That's true. You do have to keep him interested. I agree with that. Uh, all right, Charles Agent. No whammies into uh, Phantasm Image. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, fucking Christ. Literally 25% chance to hit that. Okay, well, that was when our luck ran out, ladies and gentlemen. I'd love a Gonti next turn, and then we can just play Scarab God. I think we're still doing alright, but it's kind of rough. <laughs> oh, I misclicked. How come you didn't put a card into play? Oh, I just forgot. Oh, biscuits. It's empty you If you say the card, you get that card. It's true. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, him to talk one time. Mul a five mana Mul Drifter. What in the earth? I'm just going to actually cycle this dude. Because we're not going to have time to do anything else. And if we hit like a Duress or a Thoughtseize, which is... Him to Torok. Damn it. Damn it. Actually, Scarab got into Primeval Titan is not terrible. Primeval Titan grabbing uh, two creature lands is pretty okay. I mean, trust me, if there was a... Oh, Jesus. Oh, baby. Well, we're definitely playing our windswept teeth here. Thank you. Skeletal Cat, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Okay, these are both target player. So we're probably just going to not play anything. And that, like, leaves them with nothing good, really. Um, We want three blacks, so we're definitely getting overgrown here. <clears throat> we'll do this to take the best option. Because then we have like a 5 drop, a 6 drop, and a 5 drop. So like they can't really take advantage of our turn that much. Whereas if we play any of these cards, like then they can just do this to our hand, which is pretty brutal. Yep, that's fine. Okay, two lands. Uh, that's stupid. All right. Well, do your worst. They get one man. Dude, this is the second time someone's mana drained our thought sees. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Also, this is tapped, so. Oh, they used one of the mana to untap it. That's pretty good. That's a good use of mana. Don't be something they can use against us. Just be another land. I'll take another land in hand. Or a Karn. Oh, Thieves Santa's fine. Yeah, they can't really they can't really take advantage of this in any way, so. 
Also, is this a typical time for you to be streaming? No. Uh, I haven't had much luck catching in the evening. Yeah, I've actually been streaming like during the day mostly, like at between like two and four p.m. Mountain Standard Time. <coughs> I'm just gonna tap our mana. Okay. Yeah, I love it when you mine twist mine when you mine when you get mine slaver, but then all they do is tap your lands. That's pretty good. time to figure out mst is then uh it's you know what you know eastern do you know eastern time it's two hours behind eastern time all right they have two cards in hand and they did they get back they played a scalding tarn again and they played coalition relic okay so they have two cards in hand sure yeah i'm pretty sure we're just playing prime time and getting a bunch of lands here but Now we're definitely doing that. It's the useless time used in Arizona and surrounding states. God damn. It is MDT. You're right. It's not MST. You're, it's MDT. You're right. It's mountain daylight time. What a bunch of dumb bullshit that is. All right, let's hope there's no second counter spell. Got two cards. Oh, there was not. Fascinating. So it's a different time when it's dark out. No, it's because daylight savings time. I I think. Get two more creature lands. Three of my lands can attack your face. Spellseeker, let's see what you get. Well, I'll get my time walk or my ancestral recall. They're both in mind. Actually, having mana during the spellseeker is real nice too. Daylight savings time is a scam. I mean, they could have Emily. They could also have Coalition Relic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not Coalition Relic. Uh, Academy Runes. I don't know why I said Coalition Relic there. Swords to Plowshares. Get rid of my prime time. That's fine. I have eight mana. I get Shieldred. God, we spent so many so many resources on this Renin Six. They'd probably just be dead. What is this? What is this? What's happening right now? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Oh. Oh, just Banefire for... Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's just fine. Eh, it's not impressive. <clears throat> I wish we had a land because actually we can activate tar pit, but then we only have four left over. So one, two, three, four, five. We can go thief thrag tusk here, which I kind of like. We know they have swords, so I don't really want to play scarab god or shieldred. I think we're just playing thief and thrag tusk, and if they want to get rid of the oh, all right, cool. Thrag bottom girls, you make the rockin' world go round. And obviously treachery is not doing much against them right now, so. <laughs> That's not true. You could take their spell seeker. God, you're right. You're so right.
Crucible, Fast Spawn, Fetch. Aren't you taking two per land, though? You're taking one from the extra Fast Spawn land and one from the Cracking Fetch? Wouldn't they die? It seems, it seems real scary. <clears throat> I feel like they'd just be dead. You'll be dead? Oh, this is like their do-nothing turn. They're like, all right, I'll put a counter on this and I'll untap this. Right, but they're still paying one extra mana. To, they're paying one life to fast bond a sec, an extra land into play from the graveyard, which is the fetch land. And then they're cracking the fetch. Right? I crack the fetch, I take one point. I put the I put the fetch land into play with fast bond, I take a point. I crack the fetch, I take a point. Like it's still you're still taking two points per land. So like you take twenty for the ten mana for Ulamog, you know what I mean? You think this Thief of Sanity is gonna make it? I don't think so. Attack Ren, attack Ren, attack your face. How much you want to keep that Ren in six? Ren and six. Ren, Ren and six. Ren, Ren, six, six, Ren and six. All right, you got it. Thief of Sanity said, I'm out. Ren and six said, I'm out. Do we think they have counter spells here? Four, five, six, seven, eight. I'd rather wait for nine for this because. Actually, I think Grave Titan's probably just better here. <clears throat> yep. Because it puts more bodies on the board right now. They can kill Shieldred on their turn. Plus, like, these are the two... Oh, we're just winning the game. All right. Oh, we win the match? Have we lost... We haven't lost a game yet? Woo! I think they paid, like, 18. Jesus. What maniacs. I'll go to two. All right, man, you got it. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. Turn two Mull Drifter is pretty decent. It'll definitely shore up a lot of the the land issues this hand has. Also, like we can just play Ashiok if we hit a, a black source on turn three. That's pretty good. Turn two Mull Drifter almost like, guarantees us hitting land. You can't, like, Caracious Kitty has been subbed for ages, and he's like, I, uh, I, uh, I like popping in from time to time. Buddy, listen, you've been a sub for ages. <laughs> like, come on, man. My dude. All right, you ready? No. Oh, that doesn't do anything for us, though, unfortunately. So, guys, we're just mull drifting. We're also going to play this mock so we don't get dazed. So, you know. If we had Primeval Titan, that would have been the, the tits. Oh, we can Phantasmal with just mull drifter next turn? Uh, no, I guess I'll just leave it. Oh, never mind. Is it Leovold or is it Ashiok? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It's gotta be Leovold, right? It's gotta be Ashiok, right? I mean, I feel like they gotta have Mana Lake for this. Okay.
What if they go time twister here? Oh no! Oh, they're time twistering. They're oblivion ringing. They're tefferin. They're tefferin. Tefferin, if you will. No. Hmm. Do we hope to draw a blue source here? I think I'm okay with it. Oh, dang it. That's sad. I mean, if they try to bounce this, they don't get to draw a card, which is fine. And they also lose their Tefri, I guess. So they kind of have to plus here. Okay. Oh, and a Jace, too. Buttery biscuits. I mean, Leovold beats up on Jace pretty well, too, so. Nah. One, two, three, four, five. Dang it. There was a $70 playtest card? Jesus, what is it? What is it? Let's draw a time twister next next turn. That's really what I want to do. If you want a time twister, yeah. You gotta get with my friends. Bang, 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 ding, ding. Gonna draw this card. Alright, that's cool. Oh, did they actually... Oh, did they plus Jace to, to foresee us? Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, that can get a breeding pool, which is nice arena. <clears throat> Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Get a little breedy boy. One, two, three, four, five. Steal this gentleman. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Attack Jace the Mind Sklooper. Quick chat, I'll hold him down to your cough, syrup, and sunny day. Why would you mix those two? Oh my god. And then we'll just play prime time. And really hope that they don't have a sweepy boy, I guess. Thank you. Oh, we could have actually shardless agent, because we would have hit a discard spell there. Um, but I think we're just getting lumbering falls and creeping tar. But Walladil, what is up, my dude? Walladil, do you know I'm moving to Denver in June? <clears throat> Sunny D it'll clean nice. <laughs> it'll cleanse your throat. I feel like we're gonna get board wiped here, but Do you Jace bounce Leovold here? I feel like you kind of have to, right? Dude, 69 months is insane, dude. That's like over five years. <coughs> Waldo, you have been supporting me for over five... For almost six years, dude. <laughs> That's wild. Oh, we win the game. I think we're good. I think our deck like isn't. Are we just three owing this draft? Are we three o six owing? Opponent did forget about Leovold. Oh, they activated Jace. Oh wow, that's brutal. <laughs> you mean brainstorm? But yeah. <coughs> so Leovold's like, or Jace is like, all right, I'll draw three. Oh shit, I don't draw any. Oh shit, I got to put two back. Oh dang. No one wins there, my dude. Yeah. 
if you want to be my blah 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 Oh, wow. Okay, so turn two, him, turn three, Ashiok. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, man, Kitty Cat's playing the fiddle over here, guys. Can you see it? No, you can't. He hidden. Legend of the Hidden Kitty Cat. Okay, let's see if three for three has mana drain, right? Oh, they could have missed... Oh, they... Nope, nope, they didn't. Okay. Kitty Cat's down there. He's having a good time. He's been sitting in this chair a lot. He never sat in this chair when I was in Florida. Now, all of a sudden, he sits in all the time. After this corn... Quarantina mana mat <clears throat> will have to do a summat. I don't know. I don't know what you're even saying right now, but I assume. I assume you're referring to our Denver adventures that will be forthcoming. I may do one more draft after this. I'm real tempted to because this is the last night for the, the Vintage Cube. Is there even a benefit to playing Breeding Pool here, <clears throat> over over Swamp? I don't think so. This guy's got to get countered, right? So long, Ashy. Oh, Impulse. That's not a counter. Are you moving to Denver on a Butter Biscuit Scholarship? You guys know I can't talk about my Butter Biscuit Scholarship. Are you going to sold? Oh, okay, good. What's happening here? Well, tomorrow is going to start the modern cube, which I'm actually fine with. Oh my god, what is happening? Are you getting like, are you getting force of will or force of negation and two for wanting? Oh, wow. I mean, that's just fine. My deck is strong, so I'm not going to count myself out, but I think your deck is superior. Gotta hope I draw hot. But if I end up going 2-1, then Lizard to the poor playing Soul Tide in the finals, it's a great win. It's... It's so iconic. Also, 3 0 with Soul Tie is pretty good. Skeletal Cat, thanks so much for this. One Vintage Cube send off buck. Well, maybe we'll do another. Um, Let's play this, crack it, and then get Tassiger online. What you gonna do about that? Bing, 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 bing. <coughs> That was kind of like a little Ghostbusters riff I did there. You know, you guys know the Ghostbusters? You ever seen that Ghostbusters movie? Man, this top is doing work. Guys, can you see Little Man now? Little man, little man. The thing is, I don't even want a time twister here because I guess we could actually start tassigering, right? Tassigre. You haven't seen Ghostbusters? My God, man. Can't sleep. Was thinking for going for a walk. Don't ever, don't ever go for a walk. Yeah, he's a handsome gentleman. That's little man. What up, little man? I'm between you and Mike and Height, so let's cosplay as cellular bars this year. Where are you coming up with this shit? <laughs> Smokey Loki, was your previous name Game Krang? 
Does that sound familiar? Oh wow, give me Thoughtseize or Demonic Tutor. Oh, they gave me Demo. No, okay. Okay. Took you a while to answer that though. It's real suspicious. It's real suspicious. Guys, let's Demo. Let's get Leo. Uncle Leo! I was gonna get I was gonna get him to Torok, but then I was like, wait, time twister. Oh really? Oh okay, that's fine. As a not lawyer, I have to inform you that the client I definitely don't have would deny any connections to the game crank if my client existed to do that. I I understand. I understand. Next turn we can just cast both of these though. Like Pew pew! Like a just twofer. And then we can play a land first and go pew pew pew! So, <clears throat> I'm, I'm alright with it. This guy's getting tucked? Oh yeah, he got, he got tucked. He got Friar tucked. Um... The thing is, like, Teferi is totally shut off by Eliovold, so... <clears throat> One, two, three, Uncle Leo. I mean, they only go down to one card, right? I think I want the Dark Slick Shores over the other one, so... Uh, creepy Tarpet. Let's twist again, like we did last summer. Oh, wow. We just get to go Mox Mana Vault. Yeah, okay. That's fair. That's fair magic. <clears throat> Next turn we get to Demonic Tutor. Okay. <laughs> Live in the dream. All you need is a note card and a six-sided... For what? What are you talking about? Oh, they're digging. Oh, I feel like we're coming out ahead, boys. This feels like a desperation dig. Cryptic command. You got three cards? I think we demonic tutor for him to Torok here. Uh, no, I'm good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Demo, Demo, Demo. It's funny because, like, Scarab God isn't even great here. Actually, maybe it's just Karn. <laughs> Karn seems decent here. We don't have Mind Twist in our deck, so. Why do you guys think we have Mind Twist? We took. No, we didn't take Mind Twist because we had a bunch of cards already. We took uh, Primeval Titan, I think, over Mind Twist. Maybe? I don't know if that was the case, but... I mean, we definitely want to get Cryptic out of their hand. And we're either going to do it with... Well, or, or we want to, we want to like, shut down as Kanta. Oh, yeah, we took Mana Vault over Twist. Yeah. Oh, there's no him here, either. Him was exiled to... Uh, to, to Tassiger, so I guess we're just going to go with Karn Father. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 1, 2... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Our one shy of actually being able to, like... Let's go hit this. Let's hit this Leovold, make sure he dies. <laughs> I make sure you die. Attack Teferi. And they only have three mana up here, so I'm not, like... Pretty okay with it. <clears throat> Come on. 
Karn Daddy. If they have miscalculation, we got Mana Vault over here, so I'm not. No, we mind twisted last game because we took it with Gonti. Or Thief of Sanity. Thief of Sanity, I think we took it with. We definitely played a mind twist. It was it was taken by Thief of Sanity. <clears throat> Oh, you said that. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's probably why. Yeah, for sure. Okay, draw a card. Can't. Okay, yeah, you can do that, I guess. Oh, hard counter. Oh, wow. The rich get richer. Well, they do have cryptic command mana up. Wow, that was very good. Okay, so we know they have Cryptic. And Topperino. Okay, Lumbering Falls. Um, let's activate Creeper. One, two, three. This is half their life, so I almost feel like they they're they're almost priced into creeping t at some point. Perhaps now. Draw a card. Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think we played a land yet, right? Oh, we played Lumbering Falls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can go one, two, three, activate here. We have one, two, three, four, five. We can exile one card here, I bet. Or we can just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, and two. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to let it happen. Yep, okay, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and just play Tassigar, I guess. We can exile one card from the graveyard without tapping Mana Vault, which is probably just better. I mean, we can probably just get rid of Demonic Tutor. I think keeping up Mana Vault is just, just better. <clears throat> yeah but the problem is I want both Karn and Time Twister in the graveyard I think both of those give me a lot of strength in the later game so like if we can just keep getting back Time Twister like if we hit two lands and they have to give us back either one of these like it's just very very good that is just fine Yeah, all right. Grave Daddy. Who's your Grave Daddy? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's see what happens here. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Two lands. <clears throat> do I get the Karn Daddy? Or do I get the Time Twisty? Nailed it. <laughs> yep, that's why we did it. Probably don't need both. Wow. Oh, big twists. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can go Grave Titan and. Oh, man. Oh, man. One, two, three, four, five, six. Grave Daddy. Actually, I think we probably could have won here, right? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 4 to activate, 4 to activate, and then 4 to kill this guy. Yeah, we could have just won. Um, and we're definitely playing Choops here because we don't want them to have the token on board. Don't daze me, though. Oh, man, can you imagine? Yeah, we gave them extra turn. We could have actually killed them that turn. Do 
But I mean, like, who wants to? Who cares about lethal when you're like, when you're Leovold, when you're getting? No, come on, man. I don't care about. Okay, here we go. Is this four or five? This this is this could be Snapcaster like. I'm gonna do this now because then we get to if they do want a cryptic command, if they want a Snapcaster cryptic command, we can still get creeping tarpit in there. Oh god, what is this? Torrential gear hole cryptic command. Similar but different. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Draw a card, sure. Uh, Frost, there's the there's an Emery. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna twist. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Oh, we're one mana shy of being able to kill them. I'm pretty sure I've been dead for at least five turns inside at least. Oh, God. Oh, man. What if Charlotte's Agent hits something? Can it hit anything? We played a land, right? One, two, three, activate. One, two, three. I mean, I guess we can deal. We can put them a one. If we can attack, if we can activate Lumbering Falls, though, that would be the real clincher. Uh, two blue. I guess we'll put them to one. Call it a day. They have no cards in hand. Yes. I went 3 with the green deck. What? Seriously? Wait, the one you played me against? Play against me? Wow, that deck seems decent. Oh my goodness. Wait, were they at five? I thought they were at six. Why did I think they were at six? One is in zero? I uh, dude, I totally thought they were at six. Wow. I guess wow, I don't know why it took me so long. Six oh dude. This deck was a blast. Thank you guys for watching. Check me out at twitch.tv slash franklapore, patreon.com slash franklapore, cool stuff inc every Wednesday, and uh manatraders.com. There's an amazing subscription service you can use. The promo code in the link below to get twenty percent off your first three months. Definitely helps me out. And uh, don't forget to slam those like buttons and those subscribe buttons. And I'll see you dudes next time. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.